Hey, what's up YouTube? Demo Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I'm gonna do a quick product review here on this OBD2 scan tool and code reader that I got from uh, Top Don. This is their RD-Link 400 model. And I'm gonna show you how it works and just do a quick, take a quick look at it. Comes in a nice package, comes with a little instruction manual so you can kind of read through here and see how to use this. But it's pretty, pretty basic, pretty straightforward and there's not a whole lot you need to do. This little cord here plugs in to the bottom and that is to download updates, I guess. It says unlimited updates or, or lifetime updates for free, which is nice. But it also, I, I imagine that's what charges the internal battery here for the light. That's one of the features that really kind of caught my eye because a lot of times it is dark and if you're using your phone for something else or you don't have a light, uh, this just has a little light. It's so handy right there in the end of the, of the port that you just plug that in. Let's just get it plugged in here and take a look. So down here in my van, I've got a little door here that says OBD on it. So it's pretty obvious where that is. But in most cars, it's just going to be somewhere underneath the driver's footwell area and you see the shape there it's a kind of a trapezoid shape just match that up to the scanner but again here here is the light if it were dark hard to see but just plug that in and when you plug it in even with the vehicle off this is gonna this is gonna light up now you do need to turn the key two clicks all right there's a lot of glare on this screen but hopefully you can see here there's just these navigation buttons Let's say a back button here, the IM button, and then the up, down, left, right, OK. This is not a touch screen, by the way. So you can just kind of navigate through here just by pushing the arrows. And we're just going to start at setup. Just press that. Language. We're just going to stick with English. Hit back. Unit of measure. We'll stick with Imperial. And record mode. It's set to on as a default. We'll just leave that. Whoops. Okay, we'll hit back. And then beeper, I guess you can turn off this beeping sound if that bothers you, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't bug me. We'll just leave it on. Now, the help, this will give you a little bit of information about OBD or what it is, onboard diagnostics. This has basically been around since 1996. It's still used today. This kind of just gives you a little background there if you want to read through it. Um, this is going to let you know what data streams it's got available it's saying about so tp or throttle position it's just kind of telling you what it does absolute throttle position represents normalized distance the throttle is opened so it kind of gives you a description on each one of the data stream options uh, i am readiness this is just letting you know what monitors uh, for your inspection it's going to be testing or looking at and info let's see that that's just the version you have the software registration code all that stuff let's hit back now dtc lookup is nice so if someone calls you and says hey i've got the p0305 code or p0420 uh, you can just hit it hit um, look up if you don't have access to a, a computer or the internet or even your phone you can just come in here now on the first, uh, the first digit here, you can change the letter P, C, B, or U. The second digit, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then the other digits are 0 to F. So if you go down, that changes the letter. Uh, if you go up, it changes the number. So P0305 that I said. And then hit OK. That tells you just a generic cylinder misfire, cylinder 5. Hit back. Let's change it to the other one that I said, P0305. 420. Just a generic code, but it's saying that the catalyst system efficiency below threshold. Review. This allows you to review the data stream or freeze frame data that you've recorded. So let's hit go back here. And then the IM, it's actually the same if you hit OK here or if you push this button. You can just plug in and hit inspection monitor and just take a look at this report and see what's ready. This just tells you what each system is and uh, whether or not it applies and or whether or not it's ready. So we've got a green check here on everything. And so we know that this is ready for inspection. In our case, we do it were California. We've got a smog check. And this is the main icon here. Or the, it looks like a check engine light icon there. And you can just hit OK. This is your diagnostic, your main diagnostic menu. So you're going to either read codes 
uh, race codes. You can verify the uh, inspection monitor readiness again. Do that uh, data stream, freeze frame, O2 sensor test, onboard monitoring, EVAP system, and vehicle information. So it's pretty cool. You can come in here, It'll you hit OK, it'll tell you your VIN and all that. Uh, EVAP system, or lets you know that the EVAP system leak test is passed. Onboard monitoring. This is going to tell you all the onboard monitors. Uh, we have 21, so you can kind of scroll through here and see each monitor. O2 sensor test, same thing, just bank one sensor one, just hit that. It's telling you which test it is and it says pass. Well, let's go up here to the read codes. Now, we don't have any codes. This vehicle has no fault codes. I used this the other day on a Toyota Matrix, and we did have the P0420 code for the catalytic converters. So it was nice, nice to have this and, and test it out. And so I, I do know that it works. It will pick up a code. If you have to erase the codes, you just hit there, and it'll just ask you if you're sure, and you can go through that. Uh, let's hit this one right here, though, real quick. Let's hit View Graphic Items. So here we can uh, we can actually pick something and graph it. So let's just do the engine coolant temperature. You push that and then hit the back button, and it'll go into that graph. So here it's saying we're 68 degrees. I'm wondering if I start it up, what will happen here? We'll see if it uh, warms up here real quick. There we go. Starting to jump, 69, 71, 73. Hopefully you can see that there. It's kind of a, a very faint line, but you can see that that's, that's gonna climb as it warms up. Looks like there's a way to record that as well. I don't know if I'm certain how to do that. Probably just the okay button. But like I said, you'll probably spend most of your time in here reading codes and just taking a look at what's going on. Um, I think it's nice that it's got all this uh, onboard vehicle information, the, uh, the, this function here to be able to stream data live uh, is pretty awesome. View all items and this is going to tell me what is all supported. Every vehicle might have um, a different number of things. This has got 46 different things that you can look at. Uh, fuel system, calculated load value engine coolant temperature, your fuel trims, vehicle speed, ignition timing, advance for number one cylinder. Pretty cool. Just kind of scroll through here. And of course you can diagnose what's going on. A number of warmups since DTCs are cleared, 255. That's a good way to know. And also distance traveled. That's a good way to know if you're going to buy a car or a used vehicle and you can find out when's the last time someone cleared the codes. So let's just exit out of here, go back to the main menu, hit OK, and uh, we're gonna unplug this, or well, I'm gonna turn the engine off first. And then we'll unplug this. Uh, that's pretty much it. Like you saw, it's a good tool, works exactly as it's supposed to. This is something that's so inexpensive, I recommend everyone have one of these. Just to even take this on the road so that you, if you're out and about and you get a check engine light, you can plug that in and see immediately what's going on, if it's a serious one, if you need to stop or if you need to take a look at it. Uh, it's also really handy to have if you've got uh, some kids that are driving. If you have these in your kids' vehicles, then if they're, if they're far from home, I've got a couple kids that live out of state and I might buy a couple more of these and send them to them so that if they do get a check engine light, they can just plug it in and let me know what's going on and maybe help them diagnose their issue remotely. So I, I would recommend you pick this up. Um, I'm impressed with it. I just want to say thanks to Top Don for sending it to me. They just sent this to me in exchange for a review. And this is my honest review. I, I do like it. I do like the whole, uh, the fact that it's got this light, but I also like that it's corded. I've got the Bluetooth versions, a couple of little dongles that you just plug in and use the app on your phone. There's just been times when you can't connect to those things for some reason, but it's really nice to have it all in one here that you just plug in and, and you can uh, find out what you need right away. Hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick this up as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.